Hi, welcome to Salt Air number 20. My name is David Boucher. I'm a senior engineer here at SaltStack. Today I'm going to do a demonstration uh, detailing some of the uh, some new tooling we've built to help our users manage uh, the, their Docker containers that they're running on their infrastructure. So what I have here in the scenario, I have uh, 99 virtual machines that uh, are, have Docker already installed on them and I'm, I'm going to uh, spin up two containers on each of those virtual machines and this container we're just running a simple a PHP app with uh, Apache that just displays some IP information about uh, that, what that Docker image, Docker container sees. Um, and then we also have another virtual machine that will be running HA proxy, and that HA proxy config will be automatically updated through Salt, pulling all of the Docker host image, host uh, IP addresses and ports, external ports that expose these containers that, that we need to see. So. First, let's look at what the Docker container config looks like. So if I go into uh, our, my file roots, which is slash serve slash salt, there's a um, directory called doc apache that I've put together, and we'll look at the init. So first here, I'm going to make sure that this Docker image is pulled off of the um, public uh, Docker image repositories, or registry. And then I'm going to install two different containers. So the first one is just named Apache Container. Docker.installed is the state that I'm going to execute. So we're going to make sure that it's running. And we're going to specify that image. Then here we're going to um, make sure that this Docker container, um, this port 80, is exposed on port 8000 of its host. The second one is going to be named just Apache Container 2. Um, very, you know, it's, it's going to be using the same image, and this one will have its um, HTTP port exposed on port 8080 on its Docker host. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is, uh, first, I'm going to um, spin up these Docker containers on several of these, uh, just a few of these um, Docker VMs, and then we're going to install HTTP proxy on our HTTP proxy machine and have it proxy those Docker containers to start with. So let's just do the first uh, 10. So we're going to do Docker 0 star to get uh, 0, 1 through 9. And we're going to use state.sls to apply a specific salt SLS file. And we're going to specify doc underscore Apache. Let's time that as well. So it's just going to spin those up. You can see um, that all flew by very quickly, um, but it uh, spun up uh, those Docker containers. Now, let's look at, uh, let's get some of those IP addresses. So we can actually just look at one of, one of those. Okay, so let's just pick this one here. And if we go to that IP address, and let's do port 8000, we have that IP is there. And then if you go to port 8080, um, it's basically the same thing, but that's the second container. So you can see that on that VM, um, we have two Docker containers, and they're um, having their HTTP ports are exposed properly on our Docker host. Now, now we're going to set up our HTTP proxy to then proxy all of these containers. So let's uh, look at what the config looks like for that. So in here I have HTTP proxy config and look at the init. Uh, so here we're just going to make sure the HTTP proxy package is installed. And the second uh, section of the state, we're going to set up the default proxy uh, config to enable to make sure the HTTP proxy is enabled. And then we're going to make sure that the service is running. That's all there's to it. We also have uh, the um, HTTP proxy config as well. And you can see here, um, there's just the different options that uh, are here. And then we have some Jinja to pull a data structure out of Salt, uh, from, from the Salt master, and then uh, uh, templatize this config file and 
and then it'll restart the uh, the HA proxy server, reload it when uh, the config file is updated. So let's go ahead and uh, install that on our HA proxy server. Let's make sure it's up and running. It is. So let's go ahead and do sls HA proxy. Okay, so now um, our package manager has installed HAProxy. As you can see here, the service is running. We've enabled the correct config file. Now we want to get the uh, latest config, get, pull the data about our Docker containers, their host um, IPs and the ports they're, they're using, and have uh, this config uh, salt state that will um, do that for me. So let's run that and let's time that. Okay, so I pulled it out, uh, redid that config, and um, restarted HA proxy in just over just you know 3.4 seconds. So let's look at what that looks like here, HA proxy. So now I, I go to um, HA proxy, and we're getting um, this IP addresses here on port 80, and uh, let's look at the stats. Okay, so we can see here that we have uh, 18 containers that are all being proxied by our proxy here. And um, port 80 on haproxy.solstack.com now is being, um, it's been proxying across all these different containers that are, that are exposed on these various ports on our internal network. Now, Depending on how we'd set up our Docker containers, you know, that could be any random set of IP addresses uh, and ports that might be might be used, and we can pull that data out and get the correct information um, immediately. Now let's go back and um, set up Docker on the rest of our servers. And we can see that uh, now that we've deployed, we're going to, we're going to deploy uh, new servers new uh, into our environment to provide extra capacity, and, uh, and then we can automatically um, have HA proxy updates configs. Now I'm doing um, a little bit of this manually just to be able to show what's going on. Um, each of these steps that I'm actually typing in here could easily be um, automated um, and updated um, as needed. Okay, so it took 21 seconds to spin up another uh, 90 or so um, uh, VMs, actually not the VMs, um, to take 90 VMs and spin up two Docker containers on each of those. And now we're going to rerun the HTTP proxy config. Okay, so again, it took just uh, three seconds to execute that. And now let's go look at our HTTP proxy stats. And we can see that we have 198 containers that now that are now um, being proxied by HA proxy um, and spreading that load across um, all those containers there. And if we add more into there, um, we can redo those. We can actually remove uh, containers out of production um, and remove them um, easily. We're running that same config update on our HA proxy and then continue to just proxy the uh, appropriate containers. So um, this is a really good example of the, how easy it is to have data flow through your infrastructure result. Um, you can get data about your, you know, your Docker containers, your LSC containers, um, any other bare metal um, or virtualized server or machine that you're running salt on and use that data to update other things. And this HTTP proxy uh, config here, um, this is a real simple and quick uh, way to demonstrate uh, that power. So our, uh, our recommendation is found on docs.saltstack.com on Freenode and uh, uh, our, our IRC channel is uh, hash salt and uh, we have a salt-users uh, Google group for our email address or our email um, mailing list and uh, we have a terrific community 
And if you have any questions about anything you've seen here on this on this uh, salt air, um, we'd love to see you there and um, uh, love to help you get started with salt. So again, this is salt air number 20. Uh, uh, thank you for your time.